situations. And I would like to know why. What, what is the change, Hans? I don't understand. The change is that, first of all, in the original docs, it's, uh, it states that it, it has no statement about covering your vehicle in your own assigned parking spot. But according to docs and regulations that have been revised, in 2013, uh, 04 or 2 or something like that, uh, it states that you need to be uh, a move to a assigned parking spot, which is by the tennis courts. And I do not understand why. Because that way I will take up guest parking spots for anybody who wants to visit their relatives or whatever in this uh, area. And besides, it's just going to be just as a much of a nuisance to anybody as if I were to park it in my own parking spot with well, a cover I, over I don't. I, I believe that we don't allow covers no matter where. That is incorrect, ma'am. That is incorrect. I've been, a, I, I've been advised to park my car. Is it in, is it in the rules? I, yes. I believe the rules say that no, uh, that no cars can be uh, covered. That is incorrect, ma'am. Uh, well, I'll have to read the rules again, but I, yes. I, I pretty much made some of them. Right. But when I brought when I brought my when I brought my car into this and, and previous to that, uh, there was no such thing. And I have two different condo associations and rules regulations that I brought with me today, stating no such limitations when it comes to covering your vehicle in I, your assigned car park. I, I, I appreciate looking at one of the copies you have, Hans, really. No problem, ma'am. Thank you. I'll bring it over to you right away. Good. Okay, now, uh, Mr. Kwan. Thank you. Just so you know, you have a three-minute limitation. Yes, I have only three minutes to talk. So I better read whatever I wrote. This letter is mailed to the president of the board of director, Mr. Marvin Tall. The form, J. Porn, the unit owner of M2E. The subject is the proposal of agenda adoption in the next BOD meeting. Date was originally 11, I mean November 11. I appreciate if you change that number, November, as of today, November 18. So I'm going to read it fast, okay? The purpose of this letter is to ask the board of directors to fully discuss the information described below and to decide whether to adopt or reject as an agenda in the next board of meeting or not, okay? The following information is based upon an internet message mailed to all unit owners, board of directors, and Jason Levy on November 6, 2013. Okay, and everyone is aware of that once a natural person is to be elected as a member of the board of directors, he or she becomes a public person representing the whole community, not only the person or persons who voted to him or her. Therefore, seven members of the board have an identical and common responsibility to work to promote the quality of daily lives, including security and safety, as well as the welfare benefit of the whole community. Okay, as a matter of fact, the board members are also human beings like ourselves. We cannot expect them to carry out the assigned job as 100 perfect. This is the why every pencil has its own eraser. It is desirable and necessary for each unit owner to provide constructive suggestion to the board. Therefore, we as the unit owner have to show the least respect to them for thanking and the performance of their work as long as they do their best. I am very regret and sorry to mention that Mr. Ellen White's comment and statement against Mr. John Lebeliola, who had been duly elected as a member of the board 
went far beyond all bounds. This kind of insulting and blaming, criticizing and judging against him will eventually create severe personnel attacks to all board members as well as the whole IB community. I surely believe that we both the unit owners and the board director tolerate such action. We may surely face much more difficulty and hardship in the operation of business in both physical and financial viewpoints. With consideration of such circumstances, I wish to propose that agenda to take care of this matter be officially adopted in order to fully discuss before the board of, me board of directors meeting. If this agenda is successfully adopted, we, under the name of the International Board of Directors, have to take a strong action against Mr. Elena Weiss in order to prevent such unfortunate manners and attitude in the days to come. Mr. Ilan Weiss concluded his writing as saying that to all dog owners, an open invitation. If your dog has to pee or take a clap, as we have opened an area by apartment M2Y. Mr. Wong, Mr. Wong yes. I, I am sorry, it's been over four minutes. Four minutes later. It's already been four minutes. Been oh, four minutes. Oh, okay. yes. thank, thank you very much. Okay, that concludes the good and welfare. May I hear a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. Uh, I would, I would still like to know what is uh, being done about that because I got, I didn't get that mailing thing, and uh, I'm assigned a parking space over there. That's not a big issue, but I would like to know why I wasn't mailed about the new rules and regulations. First of all, second of all, what is the big issue? Well, the big issue is that I'm taking up parking spaces for people that are here as as guests. Okay. No Sir, reason. this is nothing the board is going to address right now. I invite you to uh, come to the office, uh, speak with management, that they'll assist you uh, with handling whatever issue you have. I promise you. <laughs> and if they don't handle it to your satisfaction, contact me. <laughs> All right. I, 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 I want to make, make a motion to adjourn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Mo the, the, uh, the meeting is adjourned. It is uh, nine nine oh nine p.m. Good.